In this video, I'm going to talk to you about Sperling's compression test. This came about in 1944 by Sperling and Scoville. And it's almost like a neuropathic sort of test. If a patient, say, has pain to the shoulder area around the superior angle, then it might be coming from the facet joint. If she has symptomology in the, say, shoulder, arm, hand, then that might be from some form of radiculopathy coming from the, the nerve roots. So what we're going to do, we have to be careful with certain individuals because if they've got any facet joint or um, spondylarthropathy joint diseases like osteoarthritis or spondylosis, then they're going to be very stiff in this test. So it might be positive, even though it might not be positive for nerve root compression. So what we're going to do is simply, the patient's going to extend and then slowly side bend to the right. And then if that increases symptoms just to the shoulder, there might be facet. If she has a shooting, stabbing pain to the arm, then that's probably some form of radiculopathy coming from the nerve root. Now, you can, if you want to, add in a little bit of rotation. So I just modified a little bit with that position, and I can, I typically use both hands over, or I can place one hand over and apply a downward pressure. And again, if that increases the symptoms either to the shoulder or into the arm, then that would be a positive sign. So the first one would be a spurl in, and then naturally the second form would be a spurling compression. Vice versa, if she had symptoms in this area and you were to come under and do a distraction test, so you're trying to cause attraction and the symptoms were to reduce, and then you add in a compression with a spurling, as in the, that position, then you compress, and then you know then it's going to be some form of cervical pathology. So there's a little introduction into the Spurlin's compression test. I hope you enjoyed the video.